Let's go on, people. I couldn't find any more old chub. So I got some Bellhaven Scottish Ale. Brewed in Scotland by Bellhaven. Uh, couldn't find any more old chub. They were sold out. I was told this is good and actually imported it. Ought to be. It cost me 12 bucks for a six pack. So, a lot lighter than the uh, old chub. Oh, very curious to see how this uh, measures up. All right. Chapter 55 of the Book of Alma. Moroni incensed at Ammon, uh, Amoron's uh, false assertions refuses to exchange prisoners. And take his ball, go home. Game over. Strategy secures release of captured Nephites. City of Gid taken without bloodshed. Oh, in case you haven't guessed, Beethoven. So far I can play that without you know, getting people upset. One. Now. Came to pass. Bellhaven, huh? Hmm. has a slight scotch uh, redolence to it, but um, not nearly as strong as the old chub. The old chub's a little scary. Now it came to pass that when Moroni had received this epistle, yeah, where, yeah, <laughs> and Moron basically uh, called him on his bullshit, he said, sure, okay, then we fight. He was more angry because he knew that Amoron had a perfect knowledge of his fraud. Yea, he knew that Amoron, Amoron, excuse me, Amoron, knew that it was not a just cause that he had caused him to wage a war against the people of Nephi? Two. And he said, this is an epistle, and I guess he just said this, all right. Behold, I will not exchange prisoners with Amaron, save he will withdraw his purpose, as I have stated in my epistle. Who are you talking to? Oh. For I will not grant unto him that he shall have any more power than what he hath got. Three. Behold, I know the place where the Lamanites do guard my people, whom they have taken prisoners, and as Amaron would not grant unto me my epistle. Behold, I will give unto him according to my words. Yea, I will seek death among them until they shall sue for peace. I could have sworn Amaron actually said, Yeah, sure. I'm fine with a prisoner exchange as stated. Didn't he say that? Yeah, but he also told him to surrender. <laughs> All right. I will seek death among them until they shall sue for peace. For, and now, it came to pass. Hmm. Not quite the same. Interesting, though. 
that when Moroni had said these words, he caused that a search should be made among his men, that perhaps he might find a man who was a descendant of Laman among them. Five. And it came to pass. that they found one whose name was Laman. And he was one of the servants of the king who had, who was murdered by uh, Amalekiah. All right. Six. Now Moroni caused that Laman and a small number of his men should go forth into the unto the guards who were over the Nephites. Now the Nephites were guarded in the city of Gid. Therefore Moroni appointed laymen and caused that a small number of men should go with him. Eight. And when it was evening, Laman went to the guards who were over the Nephites, and behold, they saw him coming, and they hailed him. But he saith unto them, Fear not, behold, I am a Lamanite. Behold, we have escaped from the Nephites, and they sleep. And behold, we have taken of their wine, and brought with and brought with us. 9. And when the Lamanites heard these words, they received uh, him with joy. And they said unto him, Give us of your wine, that we may drink. We are glad that ye have thus taken wine with you, for we are weary. And nothing picks you up more than a than wine. Really? Stuff makes me drowsy. Eleven. Oh, wait. Uh, ten. Ten. But Laman said unto them, Let us keep of our wine till we go against the Nephites to battle. But this saying only made them more desirous to drink of the wine. Eleven. For, said they, we are weary, therefore let us take of the wine, and by and by we shall receive wine for our rations, which will strengthen us to go against the Nephites. Twelve, and Laman said unto them, You may do according to your desires. Thirteen, and it came to pass. That they did take of the wine freely. And it was pleasant to their taste. Therefore, they took of it more freely. And it was strong, having been prepared in its strength. Eleven. And it came to pass... So they're serving a Mad Dog 2020, all right? Uh, they they did drink and were merry. And by and by, they were all drunken. Fifteen. And now when Laman and his men saw that they were all drunken, and were in a deep sleep, they returned to Moroni. 
and told him all the things that had happened. <clears throat> 16. And now, this was according to the design of Moroni, that crafty bastard. And Moroni had prepared his men with weapons of war, and he sent to the city of Gid, while the Lamanites were in a deep sleep, and drunken, and cast in weapons of war unto the prisoners. And so much that they were all armed. 17. Yea, even to their women, and all those of their children, as many as were able to use a weapon of war. When Moroni had armed all the, those prisoners, and all those things were done in a profound, and all those things were done in a profound silence. Eighteen, but. Had they awakened the Lamanites, behold, they were drunken, and the Nephites could have slain them. 19. But behold, this was not the desire of Moroni. He did not delight in murder or, or bloodshed, but he delighted in in the saving of his people from destruction. And for this cause, he might not bring upon him in justice. He would not fall upon the Lamanites and destroy them in their drunkenness. Great commander there. He's a better saint. 20. But... He had obtained his desires, for he had armed those prisoners of the Nephites who were within the wall of the city, and had given them power to gain possessions of those parts which were within the walls. 21. And then he caused the men who were with him to withdraw a pace from them and surround the armies of the Lamanites. 22. Now, behold, this was done in the night time, so that when the Lamanites awoke in the morning, they waited all that... They beheld that they were surrounded by the Nephites without. Don't wake them. Totally realistic. They just sat around, hung out there, and holding their pose until the sun came up. <sighs> Surrounded by the Nephites without, and that the prisoners were armed within twenty-three, and thus they saw that the Nephites had power over them. And in these circumstances they found that it was not expedient that they should fight with the Nephites. Therefore, their chief captains demanded their weapons of war, and they brought them forth and cast them at the feet of the Nephites, pleading for mercy. 24. Now behold, this was the desire of Moroni, he took them prisoners of war, and took possession of the city, and caused that all the prisoners should be liberated who were Nephites. And they did join the army of Moroni, and were a great strength to his army. 25. And it came to pass... Oh, that he did cause the Lamanites 
who he had taken prisoner, that they should commence to labor in strengthening the fortifications about the city of Gid. So they got a new job. And <laughs> fuck, <laughs> the exchange deal's off. <laughs> Not too bad. I prefer uh, old Chubb, but this is a lot milder. It's um, it doesn't have that Scotch quality, except at the very beginning. It's funny; I can't even detect it now. But in the beginning, I thought I could. It's nice. It's a brown ale, more or less. Old Chubb was something else. Old Chubb was some scary shit. Uh, 26. And it came to pass. It's nice, though. That when he had fortified the city of Gid, according to his desires, he caused that his prisoners should be taken to the city bountiful. And he also guarded that city with an exceeding strong force. 27. And it came to pass. That they did, notwithstanding all the intrigues of the Lamanites, <clears throat> keep and protect all the prisoners whom they had taken, and also maintain all the ground and the advantage which they had retaken. 28. And it came to pass. That the Nephites began again to be victorious and to reclaim their rights and their privileges. 29. Yeah, too bad about those, you know, uh, slave labor Lamanites, huh? Digging ditches and shit. Building strongholds. 29. Many times did the Lamanites attempt to encircle them about by night, but in these attempts they did lose many prisoners. <coughs> 30. And many times did they attempt to administer of their wine to the Nephites that they might destroy them with poison or with drunkenness. Yeah, that trick's going to work again. And pull it. Well, that's right. It didn't really work for Abraham when he did it twice, and then Isaac did it again. <laughs> oh, it's my sister. You want to buy her? It's not my wife. No. God can't protect me over here. Yeah, use the same tricks again and again. 31. But behold, the Nephites were not slow to remember the Lord their God. Besides, they're Mormons. They can't drink. I don't know what they were doing with wine in the first place. <laughs> uh, in this their time of affliction, they could not be taken in their snares. Yea, they would not partake of their wine. Save they had first given to some of the Lamanite prisoners. Oh, your guinea pigs, your canary in a coal mine.
32. And they were thus cautious that no poison should be administered amongst them. For if their wine would poison a Lamanite, it would also poison a Nephite. Wow. And thus they did try all their liquors. 33. And now came to pass. that it was expedient for Moroni to make preparations to attack the city of Morianton. For behold, the Lamanites had, by their labors, fortified the city Morianton until it had become an exceeding stronghold. 34. And they were continually bringing new forces into that city and also new supplies of provisions. 35. And thus ended the twenty and ninth year of the reign of the judges over the people of Nephi. And that's it for 55, folks. Anyway, a little sense of history there. <laughs> um, so, that's the end of that little exchange. Uh, uh, I don't know who uh, uh, Moroni was talking to when he was going at soliloquy. But <laughs> anyway, I hope you learned something. Let me know what it is. Peace. The fuck. Out. And, you know, point out anything if uh, you want to explain something to me. Video response, comments, everything's auto wide open. There's no filtering. Say what you want to say. Free speech. Bye.